Hello, how y'all doing? This is Kay. For the third time today, I mean, I know y'all say, girl, what is going on? But I got to keep y'all posted what's going on. Now, we get ready to get into the, the daily bread. I just got back from the doctor. We'll talk about this later. Okay, <clears throat> this is going to be coming out of Romans 8, 31 and 32. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spareth not his own son, but delivered him up from us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Praise God. Now here's the reflection. The Bible is filled with numerous moments of assurance for our lives. God loved us so much and desired and des desired our salvation so much that he gave he gave up his son so that we could be saved this one act is enough to convince us that nothing can ever stand against us we can do all things through christ so long as it is to the glory of god we can face all kinds of rulers of darkness and principalities boldly because uh because god is always with us and that will never change. The prayer. Dear God, I thank you that I find my confidence in you. Lord, time and time again, you have given us every reason to trust in you and never doubt you. No dark power or force can ever prosper against us because we are backed. You, we, because we are backed you. The almighty God. Father, I pray that if there is is ever a time challenges try to overwhelm me may i be reminded of this truth that you are always with me and will never and that will never change in jesus name i pray amen the only door for abundant life that is a story by david jacobs okay now let's go to the quiz what shall we then say to these things if god be for us who can be against us he that spareth not his own son, but delivered him up from for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans. Uh-oh, I was nervous. I thought I was going to hit the wrong one. Okay, I hope y'all understood it. I just got in the door. Rushing, trying to get home and relax. I was hungry a little bit, but I did have some chips with me and some cheese. And I had this, uh, that citrus sea thing. Okay, y'all. These are aspirins. Okay, let's get to the story about the doctor visit. Okay, I went for my annual. So, you know, they did the pap smear and all that kind of stuff. Did everything, did everything. And then I showed them my lead. And um, they sent me to this uh, place where I go get this ultrasound for my lead. Because they want to rule out a blood clot. They say if it's a blood clot... They said it's not normal, whatever it is, but, but they want to rule that out because if it's a blood clot in my leg, I will be admitted in the hospital today. So we're going to pray that it's a no-no, okay? It's a no-no. So when they took my blood right here for like uh, HIV testing, whatever kind of blood work they can get from this, the blood was coming out real slow. And she said, it's really not thick, it's just coming out slow. So... I went and got me an aspirin for a blood thinner, and I'm going to drink a ton of water and sit back and relax. So I'm waiting on a call now from these people to tell me where to go next today to go get this ultrasound for this lead. Now, they said it's very important, and they want to rule it out. But if it's a blood clot, I'm going in the hospital today. And if it's not... They're going to get to the bottom of it. We've got, we've got to go through some stuff to figure out where the swelling is coming from. And, it, and yes, it hurts. And yes, I have arthritis in that leg. But they're going to figure out what it is. And we're going to pray and be patient. I know I am. I'm going to try to be y'all. I am like ham right now. I'm like, oh, Lord. And I don't know what to do. I just want to be still and be quiet. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little chicken now. I know God got me, but you know, that's something serious and I shouldn't be smiling and laughing, but I ain't gonna cry about it either because I guess I can smile because I know I got God on my side. And, um, yes, that another a warning just came to my phone, y'all. We get ready to have some severe thunderstorms and I hope I don't have to be out in that. 
I just give everything to Jesus, and I'm pretty sure he's going to work it out. Maybe they'll make the appointment for tomorrow. But if, I, if I'm in any danger, I need to go get this looked at today. So when they call me, trust me, I'm out. I'm out. I don't drive. I got my ride on lock. If he's not busy, because he does have something he has to do. And I hope, you know, God going to work the plan, the times out and everything so I can get where I need to be. If it if it's serious and I need to get there, God's going to make that happen. But y'all just pray it's not a blood clot because I am really, I'm nervous. And I got the little blood thinner, uh, aspirin, and I got the strong kind, she said. Cause they dumb bears was way too high, so I went the next step. You know how you get the generics. I'm I'm not even. I'm gonna keep it real with you. But these are 325 milligrams per pill, I believe. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pop one. That's it. I'm gonna take one, and that should thin my blood. And they said it's helping risk of heart attack. Cause they said with this kind of situation, if that's a if, and I'm not claiming it, you can have heart attack or a stroke. So women, please don't play. Don't play. If your leg's swelling up, go see. If you have a shortness of breath, go see. If you your joints aching, your body aching, you having night sweats, go see. I'm telling you, this is something serious. And these ladies, every lady came to my face. Even the lady did the blood work. She was like she had a stroke out of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere at the Bahamas. Okay? Her mom had a heart attack. Everybody was talking. See, I feel funny just talking about it. Let me shut up. But anyway, that chest hurting a little bit. Hold up. But I'm telling you, y'all, I'm getting excited. Y'all, ladies, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and go see a doctor. Don't play with it. I'm serious because I'm, I'm just a hypochondriac. I'm, I'm just nervous because I'm scared a little bit. I ain't going to lie. I don't want to. I don't mind dying, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go out like, ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all said that girl is silly. I'm serious. I don't want to go out hard. I want to go like my mama did. She went like a princess. She went to, she was like drifted off in a, uh, in a in a sweet sleep or something, and she was glowing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go out in no car accident or ah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead now, y'all laugh if you want to, cause y'all know I'm gonna make a joke out of everything. It's not funny, but that's just the kind of spirit God gave me. You just, I'm taking it serious. Don't worry. As soon as they call and say I got to be over there, boom, I'm on the way. And I'm getting ready to drink water and take one of these aspirins and relax. I ain't cutting on no TV, nothing to make me stressed out. And I'm going to sit here and meditate. I love you guys. Y'all keep me in your prayers, okay? And um, and I hope you enjoyed the daily bread. I was skipping through some stuff. Mm. See, I'm nervous. Let me get off of here. I love y'all. Y'all know I'm a little nervous. Bye now. Y'all have a blessed day. Pray for Kay.